97 days exactly until Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Um, I am a child at heart, but Star Wars is not what we're talking about today. Today we're going to talk about Kim Davis. Unless you've been living under a solid rock, you probably have heard of that name referenced in the media the past month. That's because this is a lady who works in a county office, a government position in the state of Kentucky. And a recent video went viral, and several times actually, of two gay people walking into this office to have their marriage license issued so they can have the right to love one another and be officially married, just like a straight couple can do. Well, you see, Kim Davis here is in a government position, and her job is to foresee and have those marriage license issued. But despite the state, United States of America, issuing that gay marriage is legal all around, and that you legally have to issue a marriage license to a gay couple, that she's not going to uphold to the law because her religious convictions trump federal law. And here's the crazy thing. On my Facebook, I have a lot of religious friends. Yes, I have religious friends. And quite frankly, I don't give a shit what they believe because they're not really very vocal about their personal religious convictions. And if you can keep your religious convictions to yourself and not spew hatred or bigotry and injustice and inequality for rights, then by all means, you really don't have a problem with what you believe. But the moment you speak out against why you won't do something because of this, and you are in a job position to where you are legally bound by the law to do this, and you use this justification, it's contrary to my religious beliefs, two things need to happen. You need to get out of all the office, or you need to be fired. Because I am paying my taxpayer money for someone to be in a position to not do their job, and instead use their religious convictions as discrimination. I'm a very equal person. If a Christian comes in and wants to have a marriage license issued to them, they should have that right. If a gay couple comes in, they have the same right as anybody else. If I was in her position as an office clerk and a Christian couple came in here, and I don't, I'm not a fan of people who are religious, but I said, hey, you know, I don't agree with your lifestyle choices of being a Christian. I don't agree with your beliefs, therefore I'm not going to do my job and not give you a marriage license. Despite it being religiously okay and biblical in your book, I'm just not going to do it because you're a Christian. That would be religious discrimination, that would be wrong on every level, and I would have to have, I would have, I should get fired from my job or step down in my position. I don't believe religious people should be discriminated against, and I also don't believe people who want to have the right to get married should be discriminated against just because you have deep religious convictions. It is literally like a firefighter going to a house to put out a fire, he finds out, hey, they're gay, I'm gonna stand out here and not do my job to save these people's life, I mean, just imagine any hospital nurse, a, a surgeon, a nurse, a person comes in, they they're, they're have their arm chopped off, they got in a big, big car accident. The nurse doesn't heal them, won't help them because they're gay. That is 100% discrimination. And anyone who believes this type of mentality doesn't deserve to have their job, should be fired. And in Kim Davis's position, because she's such a higher up in this clerk office and she works for the government, the only way to get rid of her is to be impeached or for her to get sent back to jail, which if you haven't heard already, she's already been to jail because she refused to issue any marriages license. She was sent to jail for an entire week, and then the judge decided, hey, I'm going to give you another chance. So rather, you know, you can have your religious beliefs, but you cannot interfere with anyone else in the office issuing those marriages license. And if you do, you'll be put back into jail. Apparently, she has agreed not to interfere with other clerks' business. On issuing these licenses. What's even more sweet, Justice, is this woman is now being sued for $1.2 million because when she got out of jail, stood in a crowd of about a thousand religious nut jobs. In her heroic Christian speech, she used the song Eye of the Tiger, which is from a 1980 film, a Rocky Balboa, I think. And the creator of that song is motherfucking pissed. Number one, without their permission for copyright, it is a very strong case because using a song like that at a public speech with, you know, political figures, you need to have the proper copyright in order to do that. What's even more sweet, Justice, is this bitch, Kim Davis, got kicked off of her crowdfunding. She tried to do a Kickstarter raising money because she was in jail for a week and she was so desperately persecuted in jail for discriminating against other people. So kudos to the company that shut down her crowdsource campaign. You have the right to your personal, individual, 
religious convictions. I won't stop you from trying to believe those. I won't try to convince you through argument and debate. But if those religious convictions interfere with you doing your job of protecting people, serving people, helping people, then you don't deserve to be in that job. And the company has all of the right in the world to fire your fucking ass. And I'm pretty sure, Kim Davis, if you're really the Christian that you claim to be, maybe you shouldn't have three to five different husbands. Some of which you cheated on and have different kids with different men. By the Bible's logic, you should be stoned for adultery. It just infuriates me when I scroll on my p Facebook and I see these friends of mine who I know who think that she has been somehow persecuted for being in a job which she is issued by the state to give someone the quality that any other person can get of marriage. It blows my mind how people can honestly think this way, that religious convictions are more important than people being accepted, loved, and cared for. I'm pretty sure if Jesus was actually real and in your position, he would issue a marriage license because his job as Jesus is to be loved and accepting to all people, not discriminate against them. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Daniel Solzbach, also known as Mr. Repsion. If you guys love audiobooks, then you're going to love to use my vanity URL, which gives you a one-month free trial to audible.com, which hosts over 180,000 audiobooks for your listening entertainment and enjoyment. Most recently, I have been listening to Star Wars Aftermath, which is a new canon book in that's leading up to the events of Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Their library includes a massive amounts of books, varying from science fiction to mystery to historical. So if that's something you would like to listen to, click my link down below, audible.com slash MrRepsion. You'll get a one-month free trial along with a free audiobook of your choosing. You can't go wrong with free stuff. And may the Force be with you.